again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And my tile under that canvas that's 16 by 20 is like 110 degrees. These are Arteza paints. I am combining both today the Arteza Metallics, which I get 36 of from Arteza, thank you very much. And the 60, some of which I am adding to them to try and make them work. And I want to do Escape. And I need container there it is <laughs> it's too hot my brain is melting so if I stumble you will understand so what I want to do is I have I have stirred up all of the Arteza colors that I mixed recently and I want to continue to leave the tops off in case I might want to use them I'm going to use some of my other Arteza paints that are not metallic in between and leave those where I can find them. And this is going to be for the bottom half. And I want to throw a few non-Arteza colors in, in between, so that I can get the layers I'm looking for. And I'm not trying really hard to make any specific pattern, but I do want some stripes, and so I'm pouring in stripes. Not that it doesn't always, they don't always come out like stripes anyway, because they really do. And I have, happen to be a big fan of green with purple, so I'm going to give myself permission to do that as well. And I'm going to try and just ladle them together, pour them together so that we get a chance to get what I'm hoping for. And I've got a bunch of gold, and I may just pour some things right over the central section. Let's see how I feel about it. Once I get up to this handle point, I really should not pour any more color. But that doesn't seem to have stopped me in the past. So I'm going to go back again to this purple. And I have a bunch of gold, and I want some of that. And I really don't want to spill that paint out of that handle end. So I think I'm just about as close as I need to be. And I'd like most of this out of my way over here so that I don't spill anything while I'm trying to do this miraculous thing that I'm going to try and do. Um, what else? I think some more of that black before we're done is a good idea. And I have one more coppery gold color. Do I? Yeah, no. I'm, I have an orange color I don't think I've used right here. And I can see that going that way. And I'm going to move this back to place. Whoops. Well, I poured a little paint. <laughs> Not where I wanted to pour it either. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try. Am I? I think I'm going to make myself some sky colors with what I've got handy here. Whoops. Stuck my thumb in the paint. I can't wait for my squeeze bottles to arrive, really. And truly. They're odd colors, but like I always say, sometimes the odd colors are the ones that work the best. So I'm going to use some white metallic in there. Because I can. And I may or may not have too much color again. And this particular... I'm not going to try and pour the same way I did. I'm just going to use the colors I like. And hope we get something good out of it. I'd really like to have a little more there. That's something I made out of a dish, a Dawn dish soap uh, container. And I don't know how it's going to work because I've never used it before. So we're going to find out together. Oh, that might make green. Do I want to make green? I really don't want to make green. But I'm going to take a chance and float a little of that blue in there. Now, my side table next to you is just completely loaded for bear with little cups that I really don't want to spill. Fortunately, one of those Arteza was in the purple. Now, I'm going to try not to spill that. Turn it around so it goes uphill. I will add colors if I need them. Where's my canvas? There it is. <laughs> yeah, it's too hot to do this. 
and I am going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to do this. It's a because I can moment. And then, hopefully, we have a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. I decided on the orange color at the horizon line, although it could be a lot higher up. I've been thinking about this, and I like the um, one-third sky, two-thirds bottom. I didn't, I did, I set my timer, cool, I thought I didn't for a minute. <laughs> I'm going to wipe off my spatula, those are Princeton Artel Catalyst spatulas, and I think I'm going to start by grabbing an edge catcher, which is now a paint covered item. Hang on, let me get some more stuff out of the way, so I don't spill my sky. Yep, I'm okay. I kind of feel like I could let all that go down for a second before I tip it back again and let it go all the way over. And maybe down again, because I'm like that. Oh! Completely new plan. <laughs> wow. Son of a gun. That's that's three for three for two weeks. Okay, well, it's beautiful, so I can't say I'm not going to recommend it, because it might be just perfect on yours. Rock that over. I've got paint on that other edge catcher that I can take off with a spatula, and I may just be doing that. This might turn out to be like the best one ever, if I can get it to run down where I want it. And then push it back without throwing the edge catcher into it this time. And I can always fill in with my space. I can always fill in my space with some other colors or use them off the edge catcher. Again, I am going to be cleaning my tile after this, I can tell you. But they are beautiful colors. And I don't have to tip the canvas to cover every bit of it. I really don't. That's neat. All right, so let's grab an OXO omelet turning spatula and do the best we can with our disaster. It will turn out to be like the best painting ever, probably. <laughs> See, I do love you guys. I share really, really bizarre things. So this is not a bad idea to fill in that spot right there. I can also scoop up most of my accident right off of the edge catcher and off of the tile. Right at the moment, it doesn't much matter if I'm on level or not, because everything's going everywhere anyway, and the more on level, the more likely it is to look like a realistic landscape. Um, I wanted some gold in there. Maybe some copper. I really want a spoon. <laughs> Where's my spoon? Nothing's where I need it to be. There's my spoon. Cool. So, rather than... I don't have my uh, squeeze bottles for this paint in particular. And the containers with the lids on them make me kind of nervous because they're just so waiting for an accident to happen. So I'm just going to keep taking the paint because I'm not wasting it. And as long as I don't super mix it, it should be okay. There's one more edge catcher off. I need another edge catcher. I just want to drag that over there. I actually want to put some purple along that edge, to tell you the truth. And after that, I'm going to have a look and see what I might want to do with some chain. Just 
just drag the chain with some other colors right through the purple. That way I got a chance to throw some other colors in there to make it a little more cohesive. Not that it necessarily needs to be any more cohesive than it is. It's kind of pretty, considering the accident. We're, we're truly, truly doing the accidental art thing, for sure. Because there's no way that was anything but an accident. You don't generally throw your edge catcher into your painting. But that is a good word to the a cautionary tale. You know, be careful. Maybe a smaller edge catcher would have been a better idea for me. So that's pretty cool for right now. And we got six minutes left so I can play. And I think these Arteza Metallics Pearls, they call them, are beautiful. And I'm pretty happy with them. And I would use them again anytime. I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna tip that up? Oh, I got a lot of paint there. You know what? I am gonna tip that up. I'm gonna tip it down so we see our flow. Gonna use a skewer. I got some mountains in there. Where's my white metallic? I think, where's my straw? It's too hot, I should not be here. <laughs> I'm just brain dead. All right, so I'm gonna use that white that I just added to help manipulate where my sky's gonna wind up. And I'm going to wipe off my finger. not worry about whatever little clouds happen to create themselves in the process of doing this, like in those right there. It's a form of accidental art for sure. I'm going to pull that paint up there. And then I'm going to let it flow again. I want to look at it first, honestly. So that's quite nice. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. But I think I'd like most of that to come down this way and then move over there and I really like that little section there so I think I'm going to stop myself before I destroy it I got some strange little mountain peaks and that's okay it's time to put it in the sky and I may wind up swiping it. I think I'm just gonna do something completely wild. Yes, I am. Wow, that's pretty neat. Hopefully it doesn't <laughs> look as bizarre as it looks right now all the way through. I do use GAC 800 in all of my paints, so that means that if I leave it thick like it is, it won't, um, it won't crack. All right, so that spatula needs to go in the bucket. Here's a smaller edge catcher for less danger. Most of that other color down at the bottom is not going to tip because it's been spread out pretty well. I'm tempted to go ahead and go to the top, but I think I learned my lesson well enough so that I'm going to go across first. And I'm going to use my turntable so I don't have to turn my paint. Out. But I'm going to wipe my hands off because there's quite a bit of paint on there. I'm going to try not to pollute the sky with, well, with any other color. Let's just go up that way. I'm going to let it drip down into the white area. I've rocked my sky into place. If I want to swipe something, I can. That's a pretty wild. <laughs> That's completely wild. That's just obscenely wild. So, the question is, what do I want to do at the top here? And the answer is tip. But whether that's a good idea or not, <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. And I want a larger edge catcher again. I'm going to wipe this one off. This is just totally wild. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. I may love it the, better than any of the others. I may not think it's great at all. But right at the moment, I just want to 
put that right down there. I could put that right onto my tile, but my tile is not really wide enough. I don't mind if the rest of the scape moves up into the sky area. And then I am certainly going to let it fall right back down again. Looks like I may have wasted a little paint. I'm going to let some of that other stuff fall right off under the edge catcher. If I want to throw it back in again, I'll have it. So all my Arteza paints were mixed with GAC 800 first in the bottom of my little five ounce cups, just enough to cover the bottom. And then after that was thoroughly mixed in, wow, that's interesting. I'm going to straighten out my mountain a little bit. I might add a little more purple over here because I want to, because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link under show more under the video which is the first hundred artworks that I created for YouTube. And I think I want a little more of that in there. And maybe to join that over there. A little, it's not a skewer. I was going to say a little skewer waggle, but it's a, it's a spatula waggle. I could have some green somewhere. I've got some really pretty metallic green. I don't think I need much of anything else. I got a lot going on in there. But um, check under the video for uh, all kinds of stuff like my Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links at the bottom underneath Show More. I do sell my artwork. I'm going to wash my hands off for a second while you guys look at that. And then I'm going to come back and torch after I check my edges. So there's a contest running every month. If you want to help support the studio, you can find out what the contest is offering for prizes on the end screens on whichever video is the exhibition at that point in time, usually also showing constantly on my channel header um, or whatever that place is where that video is showing to, uh, to returning subscribers. I'm almost back. I don't know about that white right there. I can see it upside down and it wasn't making me happy. So I think it's got to go. I might want to have one more look here, see if there's anything that I want to change. Change a few things, just because I can, and you can too. I'm going to steal a little bit of paint and drag it right up in there, and over there, and down there, because I can. As I mentioned, the name of my book on the Amazon link. I don't know, it's automatic now that I say that, so forgive me. So there are some actually places on the planet that look like this. I've never been to any, <laughs> so this is my travel. So I love you guys. There's over 72,000 of you. I'm about to run out of time. I'm going to be on my last minute, and I need you to give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I would really appreciate it that and watch as much of the videos and the end screens hold 725 videos so if you're in the mood to help me out and you're in the mood to binge I'm your girl we torch to release the bubbles in the paint we torch to release patterns in the paint if that's possible when it's possible whenever that's happening I see some canvas deciding to peek through I might have a few things to to fix when you're gone so I love you guys this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery going, use some heat in your artwork because if you have bubbles and they pop, they'll leave craters and if they don't pop, they'll leave bubbles. Hopefully you can see all that. And I don't know what I'll change when you're gone, if anything, but uh, it's really different and it's really cool and it's really Arteza Pearls. Check out for the coupon code underneath show more, or maybe even above it. Might be the first thing I put in there. Bye for now. Priscilla out. some edges to touch up.
tail to clean off. 